Hi there and welcome to my very first English tutorial. I'm pretty excited and happy that I'm finally able to provide an English video. By the way, the plan for this channel is to start with some quick tips first and while I'm getting used to talk in English, I will do longer videos and as time goes by, I will give you deeper insights into my Photoshop files and show you how they come together. And finally, I will do some edits where I guide you through the whole process from start to finish. And um, yeah, but today let's start with the first video and my two favorite techniques for painting light. I will show you how to get from here to here. So as you can see, um, I will show you how to paint all the lights on the street and also on the bike and the biker and um, also I will show you in my second techniques how to paint gloats and um, after the trailer we will finally start with painting light so stay tuned Okay, let's go. I will create the first layer and I will just hit the layer button, change the blend mode to color dodge and now I will fill that layer with black. And to fill it with black is pretty important because the effect looks totally different when you do that. Just uh, a quick comparison between uh, an empty layer and a black layer. I will. I'm um, just quickly change the blend mode to color dodge also for this layer and now I will just paint with white on that layer on on the empty layer and as you can see when I paint with white on that layer it looks uh, as this layer is in normal layer mode so there's no difference there is indeed a little difference when you paint with a color but I somehow don't like the effect and as you can see you get those uh, pretty strange edges when you paint over the white area. So just let me show you how it looks on that black layer. So I have the same settings just the layer um, is filled with black now and if I'm painting over it as you can see or we start with white again um, you can see the effect is uh, different so and if I'm zooming out a bit you now have the feeling that there somewhere is a, a big lamp out of frame maybe uh, a lamp which uh, shines onto the street from from above and uh, yeah this is the effect that I wanted and as you can see there are some uh, brighter and some darker parts in the street and the darker parts don't um, light up so quick as the brighter parts and um, if I'm now using a color um, we don't get those strange edges anymore. So um, you saw it looks different and um, this is what I wanted to show you. Now we are good to go and we are ready to paint some light on to the background. So. I activated my brush tool and uh, these are my brush settings and while you are um, having the brush tool activated you can reach the color picker by just holding down the alt key and then you can click somewhere in the image just to pick your color. And now I'm just painting over the background to make the street light up and also color the street a bit in the colors of the background and also you can light up some of the lights in the background and another tip for this technique always use a low flow because um, when you're using a very high number uh, when it comes to the flow and you for example paint with white you see that you get those almost uh, completely wide areas that you that we don't want so you have a much better control when you are working with low with very low flow number so I'm uh, mostly working with something from 2 to 10 percent so that was the first technique and I'm going to 
take that same technique and paint some light onto the biker. So I will create a new layer via the layer button, change the blending mode to color dodge and fill it with black again. And now I'm creating a clipping mask. I'm just holding down the Alt key and bring my cursor between those two layers. Then there's this little symbol. And when you click with your left mouse button, um, you will create the clipping mask. And that just means that I'm now just painting over, over the biker. So when I'm painting over the background, nothing will be visible. So only when I'm painting on the biker, the light will be visible and this is just what I wanted. And now I'm starting to paint a rim light for the biker yeah, on all the edges. Of course, this is just a quick and dirty version, but I want to show you how this technique basically works. So a little bit here, also here, and maybe on the edges of the license plate, a little bit of orange reflection. So whenever you want to make a surface look like it is reflecting light or it is lit by a um, light source, then this is the technique to uh, go for. Uh, also, you can, of course, light up uh, light on the back of this motorbike just choose a very bright color maybe white and as you can see it lights up a little bit more so that's it for the first technique I think this technique blends all the image parts a lot better and um, before you don't get the feeling that this biker really was driving through that particular environment with all those uh, colored lights. But uh, when I activate the layer again, you can see that the light is reflecting on the, on the driver and on the vehicle and um, it looks a lot better. So this was the first technique. And now I will show you how the second technique works. And this technique is all about close and creating spill lights and things like that. Um, I will change the blend mode to screen uh, you can leave the layer empty. You don't have to fill it with black. It makes no difference for this technique. And it is even more simple than the first technique here. So you just choose your, your brush and uh, I take a brush that is a little bit bigger and now I'm um, also increasing the flow a little bit and painting over some parts of the edge of the biker. So especially in the areas where a light directly hits the edge of the biker, these are the, the areas where I will um, paint in some glow effects. Of course, you can also paint in some glows on other parts of the image like this maybe and also this technique helps to meld all the images together and yeah that's it just a quick before and after without the glow and with the glow I think this looks a lot nicer and yeah I hope you you find this techniques helpful and if you have some suggestions for my next videos, please put it down in the comments, but please start with some proposals for quick tips. So videos or topics that I can talk about in like 10 to 15 minute videos and everything else will follow later when I'm ready. Yeah, that's it for now. Uh, please uh, leave a like as well um, if you like the video and hit subscribe. That would definitely help to keep me motivated to do some more videos in the future. So have a nice day and bye bye.